Hello. We're going to divide a polynomial by a binomial again, but this time there's a little bit of a hitch. We're going to have to add a missing term. You remember we discussed descending order and how polynomials are arranged so that the degree of each term is descending. That is, the highest degree term is first, and then the next highest degree, and then the next highest degree. Well, in this problem, you'll see that the quadratic degree is missing. We have x cubed. We skip the quadratic term minus 5x, which is linear, minus 5, and we want to divide that by x minus 3. Well, we're going to have to rewrite the numerator. We're going to have to rewrite x to the third minus 5x minus 5 as x cubed plus 0x squared. We need a placeholder for the quadratic term. And of course, 0 times x squared is 0, so all we're doing is adding 0 to the original polynomial. Now, this is going to be the problem we solve. x minus 3 is divided into x cubed plus 0 x squared minus 5 x, well, plus negative 5 x, excuse me, plus negative 5. Now, pull out the division thing so it completely covers what you're dividing. Now, compare the leading terms. You multiply x by x squared in order to get x cubed. Then you draw the line and change your signs. You also divided x squared by minus 3. Now the signs were changed, so we now have 3x squared plus negative 5x. Again, we compare the leading terms. Multiply x by 3x in order to get 3x squared. Then take the 3x and multiply it by the negative 3. You'll get negative 9x. Then you draw the line and you change the signs because you're subtracting a polynomial and that changes the signs. Now negative 5x plus 9x is positive 4x. Bring down the plus negative 5, which is really just minus 5. You multiply x by 4 in order to get 4x. Then you multiply 4 times the negative 3, and you get negative 12. But you draw the line, and you change your signs. Now you'll have negative 5 plus 12 which is positive 7. You have a remainder, and so you show that remainder by adding the remainder divided by the divisor. That is 7 divided by x minus 3. And that's going to be your answer. Let's write it again x cubed, well, x squared plus 3x plus 4 plus 7, getting ahead of myself, plus 7 divided by x minus 3. And we did it. 